People right here, yeah. they're tired, they're experiencing some symptoms of like, depression. Actually, actually, he said he needed to be paid for it. Okay, excuse me. Um, he came, to, he brought to my attention that there's somebody that's experiencing some dark phases of depression. <laughs> that it look like your problems are taking over with the event of the day. So I want to make sure where I step ahead. So I want to take you there so that, you know, it's a thin line between uh, 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 happiness and depression. Yeah. You look like you have problems, but you're trying to fight it. <laughs> So you're very right, bro. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. No matter how how long the night is, the day will still break. No matter how dark it is, there's still light at the end of the tunnel. So what is depressing you, if I may ask? Is it financial? Is it spiritual? spiritual. Yeah, I can't deal with you. I can't help you. you need, I need to call my pastor and put you on speakerphone. I invite you to our church group group chat. I thought you're the pastor. Yes, I'm the I'm the comedy evangelist. He's only spiritual, and you know. My problem is that the demons in Tanzania have not gotten to understand them yet. I understand Nigerian demons, but not Tanzanian demons. Because you see, when someone is very, very calm, it's hard to predict the next move. That's why I don't like you Tanzanians. You never see where they come from, where the enemies come from. Everybody was like, I'm not Shida, I'm not Kuna Machata, I'm Kuna Machata. But they want to fuck I even Nigerians that will tell me I don't like you, and you know that he doesn't like you. But niggas are like, hi, Afana, Afana. Sitaki, Sitaki, Afana, turn it, turn it, Nenda. Afuna Matata, I'll fuck you up later. <laughs> so the demons are still, I'm still trying to figure out how to cast out Tanzanian demons. Nigerian demons do the aggressive style. Tanzanian demons, you have to, Nenda, Nenda, Kwenda Basi, Samahani. Samahani, leave this body, pole pole, you can go and enter this guy. <laughs> you, you actually negotiate with the demons. Like, I need I need a body. I don't like someone that stays in Kilimbi till seven o'clock because the demons will be dancing all day. I said, I said the reason why they're known, you don't know, you know what we call mommy water in Nigeria? Mermaids. Okay. We call them mommy water. Okay. And actually they're mermaids, they're ladies that come out from the river. Okay. It's scary, right? <laughs> so in Nigeria, if you want to talk about how beautiful a woman is, you'll be like, ah, she's fine like mommy water. That's the epitome of beauty. <laughs> so they say women come out from the water, the rivers, to come and take men that will sleep with them so they can take your destiny. Okay. So that they can steal your destiny. I don't know how easy it is to steal destinies. <laughs> so I started figuring, I started trying to picture why in Tanzania there are no mommy waters. You guys have rivers, you guys have the Indian Ocean almost covering the whole of Tanzania. But you guys don't have evil spirits, water spirits, you don't have people praying by the ocean. It's you can coming out of the pool. They're not yeah. Like there are Nigerians that will not swim in any body of water besides the pool. Because you go to Indian Ocean, nope, Papana. So I imagine if there was a mermaid in Tanzania and she ventures stepping into Tanzania to catch a man, a Tanzanian man, at night. By the time the Tanzanian man takes her to Element, Kidimbi, Tips, uh, Olive, she will party from night till 7 a.m. She will have to go back to the water world in the morning. She will go back singing, I'm a piano. <laughs> They'll say, what job did you do? He refused to go to sleep. Oh. He was partying all day. So you guys, so since your problem is spiritual, I'll probably invite you to the church group and I'll do a special therapy. Because what we do now, we have started to, we, we, have, we are trying to advocate for the Ministry of Funny Affairs because it is a fact that doctors should prescribe jokes instead of antidepressants, yeah? yeah? Because sometimes you have issues, you just need to sit down and laugh, laugh it off. Yeah. But you decide to drink. You finish the konyagi, yes? The man's hands will go down, but after that, what? You know? <laughs> so now we'll start giving comedy, you know, therapy. You can call a line if you want if you want funny jokes if you are depressed depending on the level of depression we know the joke to give you imagine going to a hospital and it's a comedy clinic you just go there to laugh you know you have, I, I, I look forward to seeing the angry sets of people that are pained because when you take away that pain and make someone laugh is the thing of why you taking off your shoes oh god what is the problem <laughs> this, is, this is how people start running mad next thing you take out these belts next thing you don't start doing, <laughs> please let this be the last thing you take off. The next yeah, thing you yeah. take off will start holding you. Yeah, Say, bros, please. Get, get, get down, we have a problem. <laughs> we'll have to stop him. Please keep close. Look, this guy has issues. <laughs> it is well, my brother. I think if you get to a point, we'll just pray for you. No more jokes. We'll just say, kneel down, my brother. Let me pray for you.